You gotta delete the cookies. What are you doing? I didn't bring no fucking cookies. Outtake rule, right? Uh, uh, Fruit cake, it's good cake. <laughs> it is anus. Not always. Sometimes I just rub it around the rim until I get a good oh, feel for it. Don't lie, it's LOD for you every time. No, no. no. Yes. It, can't. it takes a while to get in. You remember those things when you were a kid that were like, one filled with water and you could put your finger in and fuck them? That's what my asshole is now. So it takes a while to kind of work around, and then my, like, we'll call it the windsock, has got to get stiff enough for the penis to go in it to begin with, and then it makes, like, a sleeve thing. It's almost like if you're uncircumcised, or if you're circumcised, like, my asshole parts that hang out make your penis look like it's not circumcised. Sometimes <laughs> similar color. Same with that. Welcome to the circle, jerks. You're awesome to show of the year. Uh... <laughs> All right, so anyway, this is the show where we talk about everything and nothing all at once. And it, it's, what, this is going to be on Halloween. Halloween. So it's like spooky. Ooh. Oh, by the way, happy Halloween. Because you're Halloween. watching this, it's on Halloween. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Uh, what are you going to be for Halloween? Straight man this year? I like to chase things up one night a year. <laughs> Sorry, no pun from Jeff Dunham. <laughs> it's called <laughs> anal. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Fabulous! It's not a devil's night, it's anal night. <laughs> oh, well, you can't turn somebody into a homo, though. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. You know, oh, fuck, you can't. Bullshit. Prison. <laughs> Prison. That is lack of options. <laughs> That's turning someone gay. <laughs> Trust me. So what did Tyrese say in Four Brothers? Like, man, you spent six months on a battleship, everything starts looking like a woman. Come on. <laughs> that, that is not true. It doesn't, mean, it doesn't turn you gay. You can't be turned gay. Yes, you can. No. Bullshit. I believe you can. It's genetic. No, you, true. You can be born with it, and you can turn to it. It's a no, preference. This isn't Bar Wars or Us. No, okay? no, no. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, for some people, it might not be a choice. For other people, it could be a choice. Like, like, no. uh, like if I, oh, so if I, my parents are cops I'm, and I, I'm born a cop, because being a cop's a lot well, like being that, gay. Well, by that theory, then you would entice in theory, everything would be I had, I, There was no way to even back that up. I, uh, I just pretty much no. put up gay out there as a profession. Yeah, you just did. Good job. So our uh, homophobic leader here, everybody, Hank Hawkins. I'm homophobic? I love gay people. <laughs> oh, mom. Just remember, uh, he was talking about sticking stuff up his ass. Yeah, yeah. true story. Yeah. Like, Big old fist. Who has a. What's the furthest you've ever had anything into your book? Nothing. Nothing. I really lying. God, you are so full of You're shit. You're full of Nothing. shit. Everybody's. Unless, like, unless you every, count the thermometer when I was a baby. Everybody's had that fuck. See? That's something. You can't Did say you never anything's been up my. Later, Jay. Bye, Jay. Bye, Jay, Jay. Bye, Jay, Jay. What's the furthest something's ever been up your ass, Jay? <laughs> Jay, come on, help us out here. Noob. No. <laughs> what's no. that old saying? <laughs> Noob. <laughs> Uh, All right. Play a newsroom. <laughs> wow. In other news today. Hey, Hank's sticking three fingers up his ass. <laughs> Most I've ever run up my asshole at one time is two cell phones. <laughs> In the comments below, do us a favor. <laughs> Guys, of course, if you ever it was tickled your butthole while you're jerking it, let us know. It's a Sprint i530. It's <laughs> <laughs> two of them. And they were set up every time I squeezed it. <laughs> pushed to talk the other one. This is why I drink. <laughs> For the record, people, I'm the only one drinking. <laughs> I'm like this constantly. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's see. Uh, what is the biggest trick you've ever played on a woman or the biggest lie you've ever told a woman or, or guy for you to uh, get laid? Hank straight. <laughs> so, there is there is genetic evidence of the next one. So Hank straight. <laughs> That's the biggest lie. Who the hell would let you fuck you? You fuck them after you said like Hank straight. They're like, oh fuck yes, Stormy. Yeah, that was. Yeah, let's keep that in there. Yeah. Like Hank straight. Oh fuck, put it in my puss. I don't have to lie. I just flooded the downstairs. I was just puss. downright sexy. Is that like women you? love me? Adolescent Slevin was never like, yeah, like, I'll be your boyfriend if you just give me a hand job. And then, like, your aunt's like, no, 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 we can't date her. The best, the best lie I ever told by the first girl I ever bagged was, yeah, he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me back this up. <laughs> yeah. It was my best friend's uh, cousin, the one that I was trying to, to hit on. Oh, and, uh, nice. For some reason, we had the only air conditioner, and I was living with my, actually, right down the road. 
<laughs> Little my best friend BJ. Sorry, BJ, I'm putting you on blast. <laughs> um, yeah, his name was BJ. Let's leave that one alone. Um, oh, God, what was I? 14? 15? No, maybe 16. Jesus. 16 when I lost my virginity. I know. So old. And <laughs> <laughs> you he's, like, I, he's like, I lost a virginity at 22. Um, I was me, 20. <laughs> me and BJ were in bed, just basically, we were going to sleep because we been fucking playing video games all day because I was 16 year olds and stuff. And right. I had a slight crush on his cousin she was pretty cute and stuff. And she came traipsing in because she loves us and everything. And just, you know, casual friend stuff and just jumps in and goes to sleep. Next thing I know, I wake up and her hands are down my pants. I was like, don't worry, he's asleep. I told him about this three years later. I don't think he's ever wanted to talk to me again. No. <laughs> well, pretty much your first six, your, so your first sexual experience, now, as far as the bed goes. First actual penetration, I would say. Okay, so yeah. your first actual like penetration, as far as you know, if we were loading the roster of who was in the bed, is guy, guy, girl. It was, it was guy, girl, guy. It was really weird. Because I wasn't going in order. I was yeah. just saying. <laughs> yeah. It was two guys and a girl. Yeah. Not yeah, necessarily even involved. Was, even though he was asleep. How big was the bed? It was queen size. Well, yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I was thinking like, like, a, like a bump no, bed. You're no, holding no, on to the bottom. No, no that's that's all. You're kind of stuff. pushing in, and it's bumping him. <laughs> I'm going to regret this story tomorrow. <laughs> I would say, for my experience, I never actually said a lie that would be entertaining. But I did say one thing that I think would be very, very fun to say. Is getting ready to do it with this chick. I'm not going to say the age, because I don't want to put you guys to shame. Nine years old. Yeah. Um, let me crack my beer real quick. <laughs> Hold on, let me tell you that's big one. Uh, I'm nine years old. But Just not, got hair on my dick. <laughs> but no, we was in a camper, and I was, this chick and I were like feeling each other up, and I literally said to her, and I'm probably going to regret saying this out loud, but I told her, says, it's big enough, it's not going to get tangled in your pubes. <laughs> First one to leave the table. <laughs> <laughs> I thought banging my best friend's cousin was bad while he was in the bed, but that's my I mean, penis won't get tangled in. I your went. Pubes. I went. Is <laughs> uh, that the hand? Hold on, hold on. I still want to hear how old he was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. We're not doing this lie. We're not oh. doing when you lost your virginity. Oh, okay. Like I've lied to women plenty of times. It wasn't necessarily to... lie, but I figured that'd be more entertaining than being a lie. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get tangled. I said, no, she it's... still let you. Huh? She still let you. Uh-huh. So is a little relative. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we're doing personal attacks. There we go. Gloves are off. Started now. Oh, yeah, I'll personally attack myself. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't going when we lost our virginity. Now everybody's like eight and a half, like storming. Like my dick got hard in my diaper. My babysitter fucking hopped on it. Well, I'm still safe though. At least I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't able to nut yet. So. <laughs> What do you start being able to nut? I don't know. I don't, don't actually know when that part hits. But I, I don't remember a time when I wasn't able to masturbate. I'm just saying. Uh, I remember learning how in a weird way. Like, I did not get the traditional masturbation way down. I'd say for a good two years I was masturbating without a stroke. Oh, yeah, me too. I was just rubbing it on my leg. Yeah, it was just rubbing it in weird places. Yeah, it was rubbing it on my leg. And all I do, I used to get fucking You guys are learning a lot about us right now. <laughs> <laughs> Show of hands, who here has actually watched Walking Dead? You haven't yet. All right. That kid's fucking annoying. Yeah. But I, I actually couldn't Who, get... Me? Yeah, <laughs> you too. I actually couldn't get... I uh, watched the first season religiously just because I read the comics, uh, the first, like, hundred issues or whatever's out there. And then I watched the first season. like blew through it. I waited for it to end, watched it. Started season two. Jesus Christ. The slowest progressive show you have ever seen in your life. And it has not stopped. No, 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 no. Um, my girl stayed... Uh, over yesterday, and I slept until almost three in the afternoon, but I kept waking up. And she's she just started watching it on Netflix, and um, she got got up to the point where I was. And I was like, ah, God, I really hate this show. I went back to sleep. I woke up two episodes after where I quit. It starts getting really goddamn good. Like we finished season th- uh, two yesterday, started season three, and it's just fantastic. It does I didn't not think so. stop being. Awesome. I disagree. You don't like season three? I I got season one was awesome. It remind it's very heroes esque. Like yeah. if you ever watched Heroes, season one was yeah, awesome. Heroes then the whole show fucking just nosedived into bullshit completely Dude, after. I think the prison and the the, the, the town scenario really because it played out the comics perfectly in that area. And I know we're leaving you in the in well. The no, it's right it's now. not that the reason. I mean, I've watched I've watched the trailers and things like that, and I've seen like it's pretty cool or whatever. But I actually, I mean, I got more into. Um, 
it's called now. Mila Jo... Uh, You're so Evil. Resident Evil. <laughs> Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. I was really big into Resident Evil. I liked the first two. I, I liked them all. I see, liked I, all the movies, and I, 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 I liked the story. The one. One. The fuck but see, after one? I stopped, I watched those, and whatever, that every everything kept every movie, every other movie was zombie this, zombie that. Well, Resident Evil games were zombie this, zombie, and I'm just like, I was so zombie. I'm like, fuck this, man. I want something else. Well, Resident Evil like reawoken the whole zombie love. Like Romero movies back in the day were just the shit, and Dawn of the Dead was actually the, the remake. Hmm. Uh, was my first foray after Resident Evil back into getting into zombies, and I remembered how much I loved the idea of a zombie because I mean. With science nowadays, it can happen anytime. It, it could literally just some guy finds a chemical formula that reanimates dead bodies. Hey, good to go. But Resident Evil, I played religiously as a kid, all the way up through. Um, yeah, I played. I played, I played most all the games. I played. Mo- I played most all the games. But then I, I loved the movies. You but I just, I never. I hated the movies. I, 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 I liked the first two, sort of, just because of Mila. But like, it all, Apocalypse it all, ended up sucking so bad. And then everything after that is just, it was, oh, 3D movie. Let's throw stuff at your face. Right. And it just, the thing about it is with me, it was just like, I, I like the storyline because I always wanted the continuation. When they do the movies like that, I'm always interested right. in the next chapter. But with, with. There's a point after, where you got to tap out and just say, okay, right. we've, yeah, we've there's enough. It's just, well, it's like freaking Rocky movies. Every fucking movie, every other time there's a Rocky. Like, All right, come on, dude. Confession, just... I've never seen Rocky, any of them. Wow. See, Resident Evil confused me. I was like, why is the fifth element killing zombies? <laughs> When I was a kid, I fell off my bike. I got beat up multiple times, obviously. I mean, come on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> look at me! I, <laughs> look at me! Oh, I'm a half tempted to sock him one, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played a few sports. Obviously, hello, I'm fat. Um, I, I've, I've taken my legs. I've been made fun of. Is turtle tag a sport? <laughs> <laughs> this is not cross the swords, princess. But it's like you have all these kids. Now you're getting trophies for what? Getting, you're losing to the other team? Yeah, what the fuck? Isn't oh, competition supposed to be you're the winner, you're the loser, get better, or else you're going to keep being the losers? Oh, wait, you're a Lions fan. That, that <laughs> uh, sucks all uh, uh, The thing is, is like, my sister, my daughter played fucking uh, soccer. Mm-hmm. You know, she's a girl, it's a sport for her. And <laughs> no, no, they didn't even soccer. keep fucking score. What? They didn't keep fucking score. But what the fuck is the point of the I'm like, what the fuck is the point? Is play, like, why don't you just say, hey kids, this isn't a game, well, this is soccer goes, practice. You no, know, what it is, is it's, it's real simple with people now. It's just like, Everybody's like, well, like, you're going to give my child bad self-esteem. You're going to give my uh, child a complex. You know, we created Hello, ADD. Hello, oh, this God. is life. Life's not fair. We all learned that lesson. Okay. And the people that grew up somewhat normal understand this. And guess what? You're not going to win every time. You lost. Try harder. Maybe you'll win next time. Instead, like, don't they... worry about trying harder. Well, in the win. musician's <laughs> world, you know, of course, where I come from, what's the quickest way to Carnegie Hall? Practice, 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 practice. Or American Idol. That too. Well, actually, <laughs> where Matt Furbush is, what, uh, three time loser or something? Like that? <laughs> Poor Matt. Oh, Sorry, Matt. Matt. We love you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it, it, it oh, just, you it's like we give kids we give kids these awesome little iPhones. I use the iPhone because it's the most recognizable piece of technology on the planet. And you, the you table. Give, you give, oh, wait a minute. Pause time. iPhone, Windows phone, Android. We all represent all the kids. Wow. <laughs> so. We give all these kids these, these, these technological devices at young ages now, and then when they don't want to pay attention, when they don't want to listen to us, what do we do? We give them drugs, like oh, yeah. Ritalin and something, There's, because they can't pay attention. But there here I am. Yeah, exactly. It's just, well, Sorry, what are you well, saying? Well, exactly. Yeah, but with, with, with that being said, though, is with you and I being in technology, mm-hmm. okay? I'm sorry if you agree or if you disagree, but I'm sorry. Technology is making people stupid, it, it, lazy and stupid. What was that meme that was going around? If somebody from the 50s was able to time travel to now and they asked you one of the most important questions ever, I possess a device in my pocket that has the entire knowledge of the human race and I use it to look at pictures of cats and get in fights with people on the internet. Now, I granted on the latter point, that's me all day, but <laughs> I, this device, literally, it's I can learn how to fix my car if I wanted to. Oh yeah, you did you can yeah. on, on, on these yeah. smartphone devices. But here we are. Liter- but but it's, it's Facebook, like, 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 yeah, shut up. <laughs> it's it's move on and just continue to put people down. Then we have cyberbullying, which oh, which is just, anybody can hide behind my a favorite show. thing to do ever. All right, parents, oh. parents, what I want all of you guys to do for everybody who's ever had their kid be a victim of cyberbullying, do me a favor and go to four chan dot org slash b and have fun. Just 4chan dot org slash b. <laughs> you want to see cyberbullying? That's where you go. Facebook. 
please. Shut the fucking well, computer off! Yes! <laughs> yes. We were all bullied as a kid. I would love to be able well, to like see, have somebody get... kick my ass, throw me in a locker, and be like, never mind. Boop. Boing. <laughs> but see, and this is the funny thing about how you're saying about it with the bullying and everything. It, it actually the the thing where the kids get this way starts at home. It does. It starts at home. Because I remember when I was playing the original Xbox, yeah. and they put those videos out. There was, do you remember the video about the chocolate milk kid? Yeah, the chocolate milk kid sitting there. Mom, give me a glass of chocolate milk. Is Mommy, it, mommy, don't tell me not to eat. Fuck you, give me a glass of chocolate milk. I mean, isn't isn't he like five hundred pounds now and famous on YouTube? He does like the fucking rage videos. Yes, that's, yes. I think that's probably it. It's probably the same dude. <laughs> but he's sitting there around. He's doing it. I'm, I'm just like, if that was my kid, I'd be like, boy, you better get your ass up off that floor and get your ass in the kitchen. Do what the hell you get your own well, goddamn chocolate. Well, milk. we were kids though. We got our asses beat. Oh yeah. My, gran- yeah. my grandfather was pretty much my father figure. Growing up in most of my life, and he was a tw- uh, he retired in nineteen ninety seven. My grandmother back in the day up in Luther raced around the yard at me with a freaking switch with holes in it. Well, my grandfather was a cop, and he had this belt that was called Sarge. And everybody that it, he was a sergeant too, ironic. I love you, Pop Pop. Um, he had a belt called Sarge. Who's your Sarge? Who's your Sarge? Who's your Sarge? Now, you your Sarge? about my grandfather, all right? <laughs> Sorry, you no, know, but could help. You know what I was thinking, right? Okay. I'm still on there because I'm picturing Slut's grandma like laying on the bed, like, like I'm ready to go. Oh, and he's like, hold on. Oh, I'm off the Let me undo Sarge and release the major. Nana, uh, I'm sorry, I love you. I had to put a pop up at the bottom of the video. Oh, on this one. yeah. Nana, look away. Nana, look away. Disclaimer. Grab Long the generals. Grab the generals. <laughs> you know, it's that awkward moment where you realize just how tr- I'm sorry, tragic but I, this show is. I'm sorry. Be. I'm sorry, but my mom was talking about her sex life to me earlier today. And believe me, that's not something I really care to hear about. But hey, when you gotta like talk problems out, maybe that's the way to do it. Do you have to like have a talk with her boyfriend? Shut up! Oh. Are, are we, <laughs> shut up! Are, are we talking about Shabab again? No. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. We love we your stories, Bob. <laughs> my mom would own you too. You couldn't. Hate He's got a girlfriend. He couldn't do it. Well, yeah. it depends. Is your mom hot? To me, she's my mom. And you got. <laughs> So to you, she's a, she's attractive. So Southern, first sexual experience in a camper. I'm I assuming will, a camper. I will keep you off your chair. Remember, I am a drummer. I eat things for a living. Yeah. Plus myself. Shut yeah. up. I know this. I'll admit it. <laughs> this is getting better and better. Yeah, it is. And I'm drinking Pepsi. First real first, sugar, real first sugar. First time he has sex with a girl and she doesn't come, he's up on charges. <laughs> I'll fix it! <laughs> Stormy, punch your pussy till it comes. <laughs> you wow! <what? laughs> wow! Well, that's not how you make a girl come? You punch your pussy, let's see how far you fare. <laughs> right. Well, I did it once and then they're always like, no, no, I don't want to come, you come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the pause moment because I go, fucking really? <laughs> what? After these messages, we'll be right back with Benford Tools. I'm pretty sure that's how girls come. <laughs> we want to give a big thanks to Custom Creations. They uh, spent a lot of their time uh, basically taking these, putting them on vinyl for us, putting them on paper. Yep. Okay. Got- Custom Creations signs and graphics over on Getty Street, right at uh, Kitty Corner, across from uh, the Getty 4. Do you guys uh, want car vinyls, banners? Well, Car that. audio, security systems, that's the place to go. James will take you take good care of you. Just tell them Circle of Jerks sent you. Go to, uh, go to their Facebook page. Give them a like. It's just poorly edited. Well, this, <laughs> is, this isn't even funny. No. I, I, I don't even like this show. Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm supposed to do the walk-off. <laughs> Fuck. How do you like that? <laughs> oh, right back. This is how you know it's serious. The Biffy shirt came off. <laughs> oh, <cool. laughs> Alright, God damn, camera really does add 10 pounds, doesn't it? I was saying that earlier, and I was like, not where I wanted it. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it's look, this way, running back, this way, line back. <laughs> like, this way, I look good, I turn, I'm a tackle. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> oh, that's what oh, I asked about, like, we're not going to be able to talk sports, because... Uh, we're talk all sports, you're what I brought up on it, it's fine. Hell, I, learned, I taught myself hockey in, like, 2002, so... There's teaching involved in hockey? I just thought- Get in your room! <laughs> Get in your room and you close the door! Yeah! Yeah! Anyway. You said you close the door! <laughs> this is gonna all be intros. <laughs> like before-
four credits. <laughs> Hank is giving us Hair four. styles of Hank Hawkins. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to be getting the most anti parenting letters ever. I, I, I hope so. Like, Mr. Hawkins, yes. <laughs> Come on, pussy bro. suckers, when did they get here? <laughs> I ordered that three weeks ago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, after the last segment, we're talking about cyberbullying, which brings us up to one of our topics pretty much everybody knows in local Muskegon. That uh, there was a stabbing at my bar. Um, one of the uh, one of the victims was the bar owner's uh, son. Which, by the way, he's doing okay. Pretty much everybody probably knows that. Well, he was on, but, he was on the interview, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, he was on, on the interview. interview. I posted oh, it, I posted it on our page and stuff. And uh, but that brings us to the actual majority of the topic, which is the violence in the country today is getting freaking ridiculous. Well, I think that goes back to what we were talking about earlier about the, the, the lack of empathy now because, well, let's just face it, nobody cares. And I don't want to point fingers at video games or media because I'm a, I'm a stout advocate of going, no, video games don't and cause people to go shoot up school. It's stupid. Well, it's the same. It's <clears throat> it's not, you know, like the whole gun thing. It's it's not the it's not the gun that kills the person. It's, it's the person, it's, it's that, the kills person, the person. That, kills, that kills the person because they're making the choice to pull the mechanical device, yeah. which pulls the trigger, which hits the bullet, which shoots it off the damn barrel. Now, let me tell you, I, I actually read an article today on Kotaku. Um, th these awesome scientists did this great study to uh, basically determine the effects of how video games affect your, um, your numbness to violence. They had these guys in ice cold water pull out paper clips. And as many as they could before their hand got too cold. Then they went and played an RPG game for a little while. Pretty violent RPG game, I guess, apparently, because you know the Germans really do it well. They were able to pull out more because Especially the girl Germans oh, oh, sucked good. Shh, shh, sorry. Hey, there might be Germans watching. Okay. But um no Is she inviting a German <laughs> part German? Shut up. So anyway. Oh, wait, now, wait, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot my ethnicity in the show. Now, right, you're the Brazilian part. <laughs> German, the uncircumcised part. <laughs> so, well, hold on, here, here's the bullshit part of the study. Then, after they're done playing the game, they go and they, they're, a few of them are able to pull out more paper clips. So, ga video game violence apparently dulls your senses to pain. I'm like, well, fuck, but I'm invincible because I play some damn violent video games. Right. It's, it's the scientific research behind a lot of these video game, um, Studies that just affect everybody. It's just, it's stupid. So if I watch a video about bigger penises than what I have, right, it's gonna, get my bigger, right. gonna grow. Right, exactly. It's well, I'll be back. <laughs> no, what? Continue. I got to... perceivably <laughs> in your mind, your dick will get bigger. Right. I have the world's biggest dicks in the palm of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And we go back to the last time. <laughs> but no, oh, sorry. That's the other thing. Back with like the violence in the country. Like, how did the guy get? He was outside, cleared out the outside patio, and somebody just fucked. Was he breaking up a fight, or just somebody's like, "Fuck you"? Well, the story, the, the, sto the storyline was, is from what I gathered, from what I heard, is is that the guy that was in the in the back. By the way, I mean, I heard that Norton Shores Police Department are was setting out the ad. If you have any information, to call them and let them know. But there was a guy at the but bar that gave the police officer a name. Really? And I was right there. Because I was like, well, that's cool that you knew the guy. He, the dude was adamant he knew who he was. You know, he was there. They were, like, not, like, friends or something of like that. They are acquaintances. Right. They knew each other. And apparently the dude was outside bragging about how he just got out of prison and how this and this and gave the officer his name. And I was just like, well, that's cool, whatever, because, you know, unbeheads to me, you know, I, I watched the owner's kid grow up. Right. So, I mean, I watched him walk in with a Game Boy or Nintendo DS, whatever, when they were first putting my bar together right? because I was living over in that area and turn around I was watching this kid walk in playing a game and we were I was helping doing construction because we were one of the first bands that played Oh, there. I was going to say you weren't just sitting across the street in a band, were you? No. <laughs> that's not. That that's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. Really, no, but no, I, seriously, we were, we were, we, I, I watched this kid grow up so the first thing, I was enraged. I was mad. Well, yeah. Because this kid's like family to me. You right. know, I, you know, this is, it was totally off the wall. So, I, me and uh, Matt, Matt Furbush, Matt walked outside and started looking around. We're trying to see if we could see something. I got my van. I said, hey, you look around. I'm going to go chase this guy down if I could find him. Fuck off. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I like how when Stormy gets enraged, he turns into fucking Batman. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Matt, Robin, you stay here. He's out of the area. Batman's 
Gary's going to get some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> the minivan and Gary. You know what a girl was like with all the gone? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> what are you doing? Tell me now! It's the Batman voice trying to. I have puppies! <laughs> Give us the candy! Give us the candy! On the floor! <laughs> so, so in which case, I go down the road and I see if I could find because they said he took off down foot. And so I went down there and I was like, and I seriously, yes, if I would have found that dude, I would have door checked him. I'd literally rock out, open the door, wham! Right. Knock him on the ground and say, hey officer, over here. And they get over there and this guy's like, I just walked outside to check the paper and some guy like the door my children and my handicapped hey, wife are inside. Hey, Hank just pointed out the uh, the greatest point of vigilante justice. <laughs> right. We can't all be Batman. I was just <laughs> checking out the fucking paper. Except for me. I'm always Batman. <laughs>
sale, the estate sale. I was dying. I, I really loved the movie. All the estate sale. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 and the I woman's know. like, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. He's like, yes, let's worry about you. <laughs> she never, so never no broke character. About Johnny Dox, Whole time. Never breaks character, ever, ever. <laughs> so, guys, bottom line is, if you haven't seen Bad Grandpa, it's still a You've cinema. gotta go, go see it. it. It's fantastic. Well, oh, we should make, like, a rating system. We'll, we'll give it, like... I'll give it two jerks out of five. <laughs> I was going to say, how are we going to rate this? Uh, two jerks out of five? <laughs> I, I'm going to give it... Let's make it an easier rating system. Like nah, jerks out of five. One titty, no titties, two titties. No, two jerks. titties, let's go. Jerks. <laughs> I like jerks. I'll, jerks. Give, I'll give it four and a half jerks out of five on a comedy scale. Four and a half out of five? Yeah. I'm going to go four. Yeah? I'm going to go four. I, I, first review, I don't want to like you know give everything out the first date. Okay. Yeah. A, little, a little slutty, like showing a little boob on the first date, but not, you know, giving the plus. Well, up. we already know something that's a little bit. Stormy, how many jerks would you give it? <laughs> I... And there weren't that many attractive women in the movies. So you really can't <laughs> no. face that. There was nobody. Well, Grandma was attractive. Yeah. yeah. Because the most attractive part it's of cinnamon. Grandma. Cinnamon. The most, the most attractive part of Grandma yes. is the bitch didn't talk. <laughs> So, how many jerks out of five? He has a girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. That was very nice. We pointed it out Shh. earlier. I want to put my jerk in your mouth. Shut <laughs> up. Anyways, um, I want to say four jerks. Yeah, four, was, uh, four jerks. So on the comedy side of it. I'm the lenient story, guy. The, yeah. the storyline, the storyline, I mean, it was a good storyline, okay? But the storyline, more if it was added a little bit more dramatically... I could give it a better, a better, but on the storyline basis, uh, that's probably why I'm a little more. I, it was a, it was a good, sh a good movie. You know, it's something I'd probably watch one or two times, but I wouldn't watch it anymore after oh, that. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. I don't know. So for, four me, jerks. for me, I think it's gonna be like a super bad. I think I'll watch it over and over again, and maybe I've been quoting it. <laughs> Not like Anchorman, where you're just constantly quoting the movie all the time. That is, like, the, I think that's when that comes out. That'll be the next. Oh, movie. sixty-nine. <laughs> Uh, the, that, the only bad thing about it is, is I've never got to watch the first one, but I got to watch like outtakes oh. and stuff like that. Oh. I've got, I wanted to watch the first oh. one. You're dead to us. You're dead to us. Oh yeah. my god. So on that note, guys, this I'm has been <laughs> this has been Circle Jerks. This is Hank, Stormy, I'm Slevin. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Um, tell us all the stupid shit you want to hear. Tell us what you hated because we really don't give a fuck. But just let us know anyway. Because we're just going to jerk you around anyway. <laughs> we're give us something to troll you for. <laughs> but, uh, we do have a URL, but it only goes to our Facebook. It's circleofjerks.net. You can, uh, yeah, go to see Slevin. You know where he works. Go see Slevin. Grab uh, some free stickers. Show your support. You can see Hank where he's at. Show your support. Make it rain. Yeah, we'll make it rain in this. But don't forget. Cheese cherry pie. Go drink a water with a sweet surprise. It tastes so good. Make a grown man cry. Sweet cherry pie. Oh, yeah. yeah. See you. Thank you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye.